Well, what's up, Cancer? It's your girl, Sarah from Cyber Sentient, and welcome to your May 2022 love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not, then welcome back. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to help the channel. And of course, it's greatly appreciated. Okay, if you are looking for personal readings, all the information that you need is in the description box below, along with my Patreon and channel membership information, the link to the Spiritual Safe Place group on Facebook, and all the cards used in this reading. So let's go ahead and get into your reading, Cancer. Okay, now this reading can be for whoever is on your heart. This could be an ex, this could be a current person, this could be someone you're not even dating yet. Um, take it as it resonates. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. All right, spirit, speak to me, speak through me. What is the overall energy of this reading for cancer? Okay. Hey, friend. Um, <laughs> we have the mother of wands in the reverse. And we have the nine of wands in the reverse. Cancer. It looks like you are tired of trying in a situation. It looks like you are ready to give up, throw in the towel. It looks like you have lost confidence or faith in the situation with the queen of wands in the reverse. Um, in the upright, the nine of wands would be perseverance and resilience. It just seems like, I'm hearing Major, <laughs> Mary J. Blige, too strong for too long is the part that I heard. Um, you've been too strong for too long in a situation with this person. And I guess it just doesn't feel like it's going where it needs to go. So we're going to pull a card from the Lover's Oracle, as well as the Island Time Wellness Oracle. And let's see what's actually going on here. We're going to do your energy versus their energy, of course. And mutual energy advice. <sighs> Uh, I have learned to not really care for this card, but it says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. For me, it's a little bit dramatic. And every time this card has shown up, it has been um, in reference to some type of like toxicity or uh, narcissism. So it's like kind of love bombing is, is my experience with that card. Okay, so let's pull... Three Island Time Wellness Oracles. Hopefully this uh, reading will go in a different direction. Whoa. One more, please. Okay. So the first one out says, Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. Okay. The next one says, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Okay. And abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Hmm. So these cards seem to directly contradict how you're feeling. You may be feeling negative. You may be feeling like um, the situation is not bearing any fruit. But the love oracles are saying, you know, stay positive. Keep an abundance mindset uh, that this person is thinking about you. It feels like this person may be at a distance from you or there's definitely like some separation with the photograph card. Like if they were in your presence, they wouldn't have to be looking, you know, at photographs and things like that. I'm also feeling like someone's looking through your Facebook or your Instagram, like looking through your pictures in that way, not physical pictures. Okay, um, be mindful we are in Mercury retrograde, so it could be anybody, all the X's be out. All right, so Spirit, how does the person that ca Cancer is dealing with feel? I almost say Capricorn. Some of y'all might be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, I know a Cancer who's not going like that, but I digress. Um, <laughs> how does this person feel? Mm. Oh my 
Okay. 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 And how does Cancer feel about this situation? Not everything in the reverse. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hmm. Okay. What is the mutual energy? <laughs> okay. Um. Hey, Cancer. How you doing? Um. So the person that you're dealing with, Three of Pentacles in the reverse, teamwork and collaboration. They feel like it's the end. They feel like you no longer want to work with them. They feel like you're leaving them out in the cold with the five of pentacles the three of pentacles in the reverse is saying um that like you don't want to work with them that this collaboration isn't working and it's because of that that you've left them out in the cold this person wants to um kind of decide like if it's worth the effort this part oh okay I feel like this person wants you to revisit or wants to revisit. I'm so annoyed. Okay, I feel like this person wants to revisit the situation because of how loyal or the longevity of you guys' situation. They're like wanting to revisit. It's it's like comfort to them. It's a comfort zone. And so you shutting them out is like making them extremely uncomfortable. But let me clarify. Three of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. That's the Eight of Pentacles. So it could be that you feel like this is not working. Eight of Pentacles is um, apprenticeship investment. Perhaps you're working on yourself. Apprenticeship. Apprenticeship working with them you you see that you're not learning anything or or that this is just a learning situation okay this is crazy okay five and three of pentacles equals the eight of pentacles apprenticeship this is a learning relationship a learning situation something that you had to learn from seven of pentacles with the ten of pentacles 17, 18, 9, reduces to 9, completion, 9 of Pentacles, independence. You've learned what you needed to learn from this, 8, and now you're going to go off and be independent, 9 of Pentacles. Also, 8 to 9 is progression. Wow, you learned all you needed to learn from this situation. And I feel like whoever this person is, they don't see that. And I feel like that's confirmed in your energy because on your side, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're unburdening yourself of the Seven of Swords, of the lies, the deception, the trickery, the Ten of Swords, the backstabbing. And you're working on manifesting something different with the uh, mag magician. Clarify, crazy, yo. Okay, clarify the five and the three of pentacles. Eight of cups, you walking away, period. Clarify the seven of, of pentacles with the ten of pentacles. High priestess, you have ascended. This relationship, oh my goodness. Okay, so this relationship was a learning experience and apprenticeship before gaining a higher level of consciousness. This um, relationship was a catalytic relationship. It propelled you into a higher level of consciousness. Like I said, this was a learning relationship. Where's the fun and forever anyway? That's what Miguel said. <laughs> um, clarify the 10 of wands with the seven of swords. Empress, self-love, growth, 
abundance okay focusing on yourself i told you that um seven of pentacles ten of pentacles reduces down to nine independence is the nine of pentacles energy hmm after um ten of pentacles with the uh ten of swords with the magician card it's clarified by the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You have nothing else to learn here. There's nothing else for you to learn here. Now you can move forward towards something more stable. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So that's what this is in your, um, in the energy that led this reading. The heart with the key, meeting, uh, meeting the one, welcoming love. Opening your heart, getting together and perfect, and keeping that abundance mindset. These two cards are our future. This photograph card is this person here, essentially like wishing you back, staring at your photographs and all of them things dim. I'm hoping that you will come back. Uh, yeah, that look deep within your heart card. Like I said, it's always some. Um, it always feels like manipulative to me. It doesn't feel like genuinely like I love you. It feels like love bomby and i feel like that's what this person would do okay but you have walked away from this person you've learned all that you can learn and it's like this relationship is preparing you for this heart with the key for this abundance for this uh happier time so the leading energy of you giving up is just that you're walking away from the situation the mutual energy the page of wands the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So for this person, they have sparked this idea that they should reach out to you. There's going to be um, some type of contact, okay? Page of Wands energy uh, for me as it pertains to this person is, you know, just that hot and cold type of energy that easily, that easily amused until something else comes along that they can become amused with. For you, though, the idea, the spark that the Page of Wands brings is a breakthrough. Ace of Swords energy is the breakthrough. Finally understanding that this relationship was meant to teach you. Wow. Okay. Let's move on. I feel like all of those messages came out as they needed to. Monology. What messages do you have for Cancer? Okay, the very first card out says work through your fears, all right? So I feel like that's in reference to you moving on. New moon is Scorpio, and as y'all probably already know, the Scorpio energy in this time is heavy, okay? So this is a transformative time for you, dealing with a transformative relationship, breaking out of a transformative relationship, now is the time to work through your fears. What is ahead of you? The, the person that you're meant for, you can't approach from a fear-based position, okay? You cannot take what this person did and project it onto the new person. Uh, you can't feel as though like they're going to do everything that this old person did. They're not the same people, okay? Um, and again, this relationship was meant to teach you what it is that you do want, what it is that you don't want, what you will tolerate, what you just cannot tolerate, okay? Um, the next card, baby. Confidence is your key to success. New moon and Leo, okay? Move forward confidently, period. And hold your vision, baby. If it is love that you want, if it is marriage that you want, I just heard Rihanna, if it's loving that you want, baby, make me a girl. Hold on to your vision. Just because it didn't work out with this person, it wasn't supposed to work out with that person. Again, that is that was class, okay? That was school, all right? You have graduated. You have learned everything that you needed to learn from this teacher, okay? And now it is time to move forward. Now it is time to be somebody's husband or somebody's wife, okay? You've already made it through um, spouse school. <laughs> all right, so Rebel Rebel. Talk nice or don't, I don't care. But please tell Cancer what they need to hear. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Look, I'm just a messenger spirit. Um, stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. When this card comes up, it tells me that you're needing to listen to what people are not saying. Listen to the way that people are moving. Listen to your intuition. Listen to how you personally feel. The feelings that come up in you in reference to certain situations. So be still and pay attention, essentially. Okay. Um, the next one says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it is. <laughs> and the last one says, you're being shady. Watch out. Shit could be ugly. So in moving past this person, perhaps some of you all are doing things that you probably don't need to be doing. Maybe posting some pictures just to get a reaction. Maybe um, accidentally texting or accidentally answering or dialing. Whatever it is that you're doing, weird shit, stop it. Stop it. All right, what is the advice, Spirit, for Cancer so I can get up and get them up out of here? <laughs> advice for Cancer. Period. Fuck you mean. King of Wands. The King of Wands energy is that confident leader, okay? Move forward confidently, all right? Um, and reap the rewards of your lessons that you learn from this toxic situation or for some of y'all, it is a Capricorn devil energy that you are dealing with. Take everything that you gather from the situation and emperor at the bottom of the deck, handle that shit like a boss. All right. Move forward with the daughter, daughter of pentacles into your, um, to your new life with all of these lessons. Yeah. This is the seed. This um, lesson is the seed that you plant towards your happiness. It's like um, everything that you've learned from this helps you grow the grow your happiness. Okay. It's the the bullshit <laughs> is the manure in which your happiness will grow because all of that experience that you gained from your bullshit cycle with this person is exactly what's going to bring you into a happier cycle ten of cups okay well okay postcard from spirit let's hear it that sounded like two oh it's one well, it just hit hard all right Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. Hello? The thought is, you thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now, here you are with a new opportunity to do things different from a more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions, and one will be unfamiliar, and one will be the right one. In the unknown spaces and the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. If you... You have come full circle and now you can see everything changes, is made new and given new hope. Loving you always. Let's see. All right. So basically they said whatever this was, was not 
what you have waiting for you. Again, this was the lesson. That over day is the blessing. All right. So accept it with grace. All right. So that's that on that. Uh, Cancer, if this reading resonated for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time that I read for y'all, I wish you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.